it's usually about 60 to 70 more dollars on your paycheck. Um, but, you know, we can all use extra money. This week, Governor Bill Lee proposed a $1 billion boost for Tennessee education. $125 million could go to increasing teacher salaries. Reporter Jacinta Render spoke to an educator who says while it sounds like a lot, in reality, that raise is just a drop in the bucket. We always are, 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 are grateful that we're receiving something, but no, the raise does not equate with the amount of work that we have to put in um, daily, uh, weekly. Putting in extra hours. You know, some of us work until five or six o'clock or seven o'clock in the evening, just trying to get things prepared. And Michael Rogers has been teaching in Knox County for nearly 30 years, and each year he notices what he calls a tiny increase in his paycheck. We have always gotten the 2% um, raise from the state every year. Um, I think there may have been one year that we didn't get it. Recently, Governor Bill Lee proposed to give teachers more money in his state of the state address. Time and time again, we've all heard the same message. We need a smarter, more transparent, accountable education funding formula. His full budget is $52 billion. One billion is laid out for education. 125 million is for teachers. Rogers believes every little bit counts, and even if teachers get what Governor Lee proposed, it still does not cover the cost of supplies. Not at all. It's, it's, <laughs> I can spend upwards of $500 uh, per year for my classroom. In Knoxville, I'm Jacinta Render. When it comes to funding schools, teachers, and students, Tennessee doesn't always make the grade. In 2020, the organization Education Law Center gave the state an F in their funding report.